Holo 1.5, new computer use AI agent is insane free. Today, I'm going to show you an AI agent that can actually use your computer for you. It can click buttons, fill out forms, and navigate websites just by looking at screenshots. This thing is completely free and it's beating models that cost thousands of dollars. I'm talking about Holo 1.5 from a company and it's about to change everything. We're going to test it live and I'll show you exactly how to use it right now. So what exactly is Holo 1.5? It's what we call a vision language action model. That's just fancy talk for an AI that can see your screen, understand what's happening, and then take action. Think of it as having a virtual assistant that can actually use your computer instead of just talking to you. The crazy part, this model is based on Quen 2.5 VL7B Instruct, but it's been specifically trained to navigate user interfaces. We're talking about web browsers, mobile apps, desktop software, you name it. And here's the kicker, it's completely open source and free to use. Now let me break down why this is such a big deal. Most AI models can only talk to you or maybe generate some text, but Holo 1.5 can actually interact with digital interfaces. It looks at a screenshot of your screen, processes what it sees, and then tells you exactly where to click and what to do next. The model works in three simple steps. First, you upload an image, like a screenshot of a website or app. Second, you give it a task in plain English, something like find the latest blog post or fill out this contact form. Third, the AI analyzes the image and predicts the next action you should take. It even gives you exact coordinates where to click. But here's where it gets really interesting. The, the team at H Company didn't just train this on random data. They used a technique called direct preference optimization. That's basically a way to make the AI learn what actions work better than others. It's like having a teacher constantly correcting the AI until it gets really good at using computers. And the results, they're insane on something called the Web LLC benchmark, Holo 1.5 to 7B, scored over 95%. That's better than models with way more parameters. We're talking about beating AI systems that are much bigger and more expensive. Let me put this in perspective. The original Holo 1.5 to 3B model was already pretty good, scoring around 93% on Web SRC. But this new 7B version is crushing everything in its path. And when you compare it to other vision models like Quen 2.5 VL or UI Venus, Holo 1.5 consistently comes out on top. Here's what makes this even more powerful. The model has been trained on multiple types of interfaces, web browsers, Android apps, desktop applications. It can handle all of them. So whether you're trying to automate tasks on a website or navigate through a mobile app, this AI has got you covered. Now you might be wondering, how does this actually work in practice? Let me walk you through a real example. Say you wanna find the latest case study on a company's website. You take a screenshot of their homepage, upload it to the Holo 1.5 interface and type find the latest case study by Goldie Agency. The AI would then analyze the screenshot, identify all the clickable elements and tell you something like click on the case studies menu item along with the exact pixel coordinates. It's like having someone guide you step by step, but that someone can process visual information faster than any human ever could. But wait, there's more. The model doesn't just work on simple websites. It can handle complex interfaces with multiple elements, drop-down menus, and even dynamic content. I've seen it navigate through e-commerce sites, social media platforms, and business applications with ease. If you want to get access to step-by-step -step training on how to use AI tools like this to scale your business, make sure you check out the AI Money Lab. We've got over 20,000 members learning how to automate their workflows and increase their profits with AI. The link is in the comments and description, and you'll get access to 100 plus use cases and tutorials that I update every single day. And here's something that really blew my mind. The model can understand context. If you're on a blog page and ask it to find the author's bio, it doesn't just look for the word bio. It understands what an author bio section typically looks like and where it's usually located on a web page. The training data for this model is massive. We're talking about thousands of different websites, apps, and interfaces. The team at H Company made sure to include everything from simple landing pages to complex web applications. That's why it performs so well across different types of digital environments. Now, let's talk about the technical stuff for a second. The model uses something called chain of thought reasoning. That means it doesn't just give you the next action. It explains its thinking process. So if you're trying to book a meeting on a calendar app, it might say, I see a calendar interface. The user wants to book a meeting. I need to look for a schedule or add event button. I can see there's an orange button in the top right that says book a meeting at coordinates 652, 
189. This is huge for businesses. Think about all the repetitive tasks your team does every day, filling out forms, updating spreadsheets, posting on social media, managing customer inquiries. With Hollow 1.5, you could potentially automate a lot of these tasks. But here's where it gets really exciting. This isn't just about automation, it's about democratizing AI. Before this, if you wanted computer vision capabilities for your business, you'd need to spend thousands of dollars on enterprise solutions. Now you can access similar functionality for free. The model architecture is based on transformer technology, just like GPT models, but it's been specifically optimized for visual understanding and action prediction. It can process images up to high resolution and identify tiny interface elements that human eyes might miss. One thing that really impressed me is how well it handles mobile interfaces. Most computer vision models struggle with mobile apps because the elements are smaller and the layouts are different, but Hollow 1.5, performs just as well on mobile screenshots as it does on desktop interfaces. And here's something cool. The model can work with partially visible interfaces. Uh, so if you have a screenshot where some elements are cut off or hidden, it can still understand the context and suggest appropriate actions. That's the kind of intelligence that usually requires much more complex and expensive AI systems. The team at H Company has also made the model incredibly easy to use. You don't need to be a programmer or AI expert, the interface is simple, upload an image, type your task, and get actionable results. It's designed for regular business owners and marketers who want to leverage AI without the technical complexity. But let's be real about the limitations too. This model is great at understanding and navigating interfaces, but it can't actually perform the clicks for you automatically. It's more like an intelligent guide that tells you exactly what to do. You still need to take the actions yourself or integrate it with automation tools. That said, the potential for integration is massive. Imagine combining Hollow 1.5 with tools like Zapier or Make.com. You could create workflows where the AI identifies what needs to be done and automation tools execute the actions. That's when things get really powerful for business automation. Speaking of business applications, let me share some use cases I've been thinking about. Customer service teams could use this to quickly navigate between different support platforms. Sales teams could automate parts of their CRM updates. Marketing teams could streamline their social media management workflows. The model also handles edge cases really well. I've tested it with websites that have unusual layouts or custom interfaces, and it still manages to understand the structure and suggest appropriate actions. That's because it's been trained on such a diverse data set of real world interfaces. Here's another impressive feature. The model can understand different languages and interface elements. So if you're working with international websites or apps that use different languages, Hollow 1.5 can still navigate them effectively. That's huge for global businesses. And the speed is incredible. We're talking about processing complex screenshots and generating action predictions in seconds. Compare that to training a human to navigate new interfaces, which could take hours or days. This AI learns instantly. The accuracy metrics are also worth mentioning on the visual web bench, which tests how well AI models can understand web interfaces. Hollow 1.5 scored over 80%. On screen QA benchmarks, it's consistently above 85%. These aren't just good numbers, they're industry leading results. But here's what really excites me about this technology. It's not just about the current capabilities, it's about the future potential. As this model gets better and integrates with more tools, we're looking at a world where AI can handle most routine computer tasks. The team at our company has also made the model available through Hugging Face, which means developers can easily integrate it into their own applications. That's going to lead to a whole ecosystem of tools built on top of this technology. One thing I wanna emphasize is how this fits into the bigger AI landscape. We've seen chatbots like CHATGPT change how we interact with text. We've seen image generators like Midjourney transform creative work. Now we're seeing AI that can actually use computers the way humans do. This is what I call the next wave of AI. Agents that don't just generate content, but actually take action in digital environments. And Hollow 1.5 is one of the first really good examples of this technology being available to everyone for free. The implications for productivity are staggering. Right now, the average knowledge worker spends hours each day on repetitive computer tasks, clicking through interfaces, copying data between systems, updating records. With AI agents like Hollow 1.5, a lot of that work could be guided or even automated. But here's the thing, this technology is still early. While Hollow 1.5 is impressive, it's just the beginning. As these models get better and integrate with more tools, 
we're going to see capabilities that we can't even imagine yet. For business owners watching this, my advice is simple. Start experimenting with these tools now. Don't wait for them to become perfect. The companies that figure out how to leverage AI agents for their workflows are going to have a massive advantage over their competitors. And the best part, you don't need a huge budget to get started. Tools like Holo 1.5 are free and accessible to everyone. The barrier to entry has never been lower. Now, I know some of you might be thinking about job security and automation replacing human workers. Here's my take. AI isn't going to replace humans, but humans using AI will replace humans not using AI. The key is to stay ahead of the curve and learn how to work with these technologies. That's exactly why I created the AI Profit Boardroom to help business owners understand and implement AI tools that can scale their operations and increase their profits. We currently have 1,000 members who are using AI to automate processes, generate more leads, and save hundreds of hours every month. If you're serious about growing your business and want to see how AI can help you get more customers and automate your workflows, I'd love to have you join us. The AI Profit Boardroom is the best place to learn practical AI strategies that actually work in real businesses. And if you're specifically interested in improving your SEO and getting more organic traffic, make sure you book a free SEO strategy session with my team. We'll analyze your website and show you exactly how to rank higher in Google and get more customers. The link is in the comments and description below. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about Holo 1.5. Are you excited about AI agents that can use computers? What tasks would you want to automate first? The future of AI is here and it's more accessible than ever. Tools like Holo 1.5 are just the beginning of a revolution in how we interact with technology. But don't get left behind. Start experimenting with these tools today and see how they can transform your business.